first time I knew I was black, um, I think I've always known I was black, but I didn't necessarily know that everybody didn't care for black people. Um, growing up in University Heights, I think I was maybe six or seven, uh, and there's a playground around the corner from my house, and I would go there like any other six-year-old kid and play, you know, swings, seesaw, all that stuff. And it was actually a playground in a Jewish school, and you know, I didn't know anything about the difference between Jewish kids, white kids, black kids. I just knew that they were kids. And I went to a kid, one, a kid my age, a child my age, and went to play with him. And he told me that uh, he was not allowed to play with niggers. And as a six-year-old, it was kind of a major, it was a major affront to me because I didn't understand, I didn't understand it. And especially since I went to school with people like this child, I, I, I had always been around children like this, and it kind of was a, well, there's no kind of about it. It was a major hit to me when it happened. Um, and I took that and went and talked to my mom and, you know, and we kind of had a conversation um, about race, about the importance of understanding who I am and where I come from and taking pride in myself and my name and my family and culture and heritage and all of those things. So that's the first time I really, really noticed that I was black and it was different than other people and other people didn't really like it.